Alright guys, um, in the last uh, video we uh, went through uh, uh, some uh, some most commonly used data types. So uh, to further u utilize those data types and, and um, build more complicated um, applications, you'd have to use a con what is called a control flow and uh, the main part of the control flow is um, about for loops and if judgment, um, or broadly speaking, um, loop uh, loop operation uh, judgment operations and uh, s some go to operations. But go to the um, uh, the the go to style of um, programming is usually not preferred nowadays but um, uh, actually go go to was one of the very basic thing if you um, uh, if you think of some old uh, programs and because they works perfectly in in, in, in some uh, occasions for small applications so now let's uh, start with a new script so just uh, if you use control plus n to to um, start a new script and then we'd have to save it and uh, sp specify that uh, that this is about uh, this is a Julia language by saving it with a file name uh, appended by .jl so that it, it um, and name it uh, something .jl and so that the Visual Studio know that this is a piece of Julia code and, and it will link, link the specific kernel to run the program. So, so um, I want to um, start with this very boring example, which is uh, hello world, just too lazy to print out all of it. Right, and suppose we are going to print out this command for several times. Uh, so, if I print it to, if I wanted to print it three, uh, ten times, that we can like just uh, put this into a for loop. So, uh, the format for a for loop is uh, is uh, that a for followed by uh, indexed, uh, in, sorry, index followed by in. Uh, and uh, this is the range of the, this is the range or an array of number that you are going to iterate on, and be between these two lines, you got to tell the program to do something. So, for example, print hw, and then end. So, a lot of people um, argue that uh, the end there is uh, not important because you've already the program have already know this is a for loop if you get some spacing there if you are using python but um what what's going on what's going on there is that um if you uh if, if you want to make this program very uh like safe to modifications if you uh, say for example you um, you mess up some spacings you don't have to correct all the spacing because you it, the programs always, always know that it's, it's inside for loops and the spacing are just a, a kind of style of program so if I run this pro sorry can't see there so so this is gonna work and it's so, so this part, this part is just a range or a array. So, if you, if I print out one to ten, and uh, it's it's not giving me it's not giving me every value of the uh, the the, um, the range. So, there's actually a type, and if I um, if I view the type of it, it says unit range. Which is not a vector because so this actually takes um, somewhat smaller memory. Sorry, smaller allocation of memory than 
than the array of 1 to 10. So, so you see that uh, maybe that's not very technical, but uh, this, but this is actually a smaller value than this, All right? And you could convert the unit range to an array by uh, uh, sorry, by using this um, squared brackets, or you could use collect. Let's say collect. Sorry, uh, maybe it's just a. Uh, Collect one to ten, and uh, that's, that's sorry, that's just not, not gonna work because messed up. Yeah, so that gets turned into an array. What's interesting about this is that you don't you don't always have to have the range as the um, the 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 sequence that it's iterated on. I could have an array say 1 to 10 and this this was still like this was still still kind of so um if i use a square bracket and like for i in this range and print out value this is just going to give me this is going to give me only one value but what's what's interesting about this program And so, so this that's gonna be a very different thing. So if I use collect one to ten, this is gonna be a kind of very different, uh, a very different stuff because, and that that's because if I put um, directly put the unit range of 1 to 10 into an array let's say if i directly put the thing inside a square bracket what uh, what the what the language uh, what the language really um, wanted to do is that it's going to view this part as um, as one as one element of the array so the length, the length of this array is actually what. All right, so the length is actually one, but it's um, it's different. So it's very different from the. So it's very different from the. Um, if you collect those, so that's the difference. Um, all right, so another thing is that you could uh, pass. Uh, you you are able to. You can pass the value to. You could pass the value from the outside the for loop to, to inside the for loop, and also to the starting value of the in, at the index. Let's say, let's start from from two. Sorry, the number of start. Uh, sorry, the number of starting. That sorry, that the the starting value is two, and uh, the ending value is twenty. Let's say, um, for i in in start to. So, if I do this, and uh, let's let's instead of print hello world, let's print out the num uh, the the value of the, the pivot. It's actually not a pivot, but uh, it's yeah. It, so it this is from go going from two to twenty, and you can change that, and you can write that into function and whatever. All right, and. You could also have something, let's say as x is equal to one, and then what's interesting here is for i in, you could use i in or i equals to, or use this at the the, sim, the symbol in the set theory of in, which is um, uh, which is a um, an Unicode Unicode character. So let's say for I in this sequence let's print let's print x and then and then and it's not surprising because the, the value of x is not changing but if I modify this loop a little bit if I modify this a little bit 
uh, let's say x uh, assign x to the value of x plus one what do you expect the output to be so for a normal program less like uh, if i'm using matlab using r or using python or using some other kind of um functions what what do you expect the 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 output to be like say if for uh for for each iteration i'm gonna add one to the value of x it's going to be two three four but this is actually not what what, is, what what happens is that sorry um gotta haven't haven't defined this and uh what what happened is that this this part of this value would not work because um, it says there's an undefined undefined uh, variable error and this undefined you could like catch the sorry uh, maybe try catch and uh, say e is a global variable of uh, nothing Oh, sorry. All right. Maybe we we'll do it in the other way. Uh, so it's saying that uh, the uh, the value of x is is, is undefined because it's uh, what it basically means that the, the the function is not able to find the x value to uh, from from inside the for loop. But this uh, seems contradictory to this example because. Uh, from 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 running from the result of this program, we can conclude that the, the program is able to, to to print out the value of x. But for this for, for this program, it says although it, the program can print out the value of x, uh, uh, it can take the value of x. It can it is not able to um, assign values to it. So this will that this will not work um another example is that if we um print out the value of not x but um let's say a is x plus one and i print out the value of a What it basically do is that it takes a global vari uh, the global value of x and plus one and assign value to a and print a. So the value of a is actually working here, but um, uh, I I I'll give it a kind of a clue. So um, if I if I put a outside the for loop uh, and I run this. And it also says undefined variable error a is not defined and this is has something called uh, related to the idea of scoping uh, which is kind of a kind of a um compro oh, sorry com comprom compromise of uh, julia after the after the version 0 0.7 i believe uh, so what it's basically doing inside the for loop is it's going it says it's that it's gonna encapsulate or it's gonna isolate the um the sum of the variable to the global scope so when you assign a to the value of x to plus one this this the value of a the value of a is only it's, it's only um accessible inside the for loop it's not uh, instead of being accessible outside of outside for loop so if I print out a from inside the for loop, this will work. If I print out value outside the for loop, uh, it will not work because a is not a global variable. A is only defined inside the the, the local spoke scope, and the same the same thing happens for x. Uh, but there's a little bit difference there. In inside from from inside the for loop, you are usually able to um, read a value from outside the for loop uh, but you cannot assign value to a global uh, variable 
uh, unless you specify that it is a global variable. So um, let's say for x, oh sorry, for i in one to ten, and uh, let's let's say let's say just uh, let's just say that x equals to um, uh, actually let's do let's let's go from there and uh, try to change the value of a try to change the value of a with um, the, um, the, the this addition so what it's doing here is that it takes the value of x plus one and assign this to a and with each for loop um, it's going to assign the value uh, sorry, uh, uh, a plus one. So this will work inside for loop and not outside for loop. So how do we pass? How do we pass values? So the um, the one thing that's uh, what I what I found first uh, very inconvenient, but I later understood the idea that um, that's what the designer of this new language is doing here is that it uh, it isolates. Uh, Unnecessary use of uh, use of areas. Uh, sorry, use of um, memory allocation allocations. So, if I define x equals one, and for say let's say global global x plus equals to one, and then print the value print the value of x and so if I do this, oh sorry, uh, st uh, maybe starting a new line would be a bad idea, right? So what this is doing here is that it says uh, when I assign when I assign um, the value of uh, x plus one, I want to find the uh, the x in the global scope instead of the local sto scope. So this is actually changing the the, the value of x outside outside the um the, the this for loop uh, so and so this happens and after you run this for loop if I print out x the x the global vary uh, the global value of x is changed um, and I also remember that um, in some versions of Julia there is some ways of doing a local x um like say x plus one and uh, print uh oh and like uh x and so here here's another here's another situation you're you're able to define the uh you, you're not a you're not, not really able to define an an an, an x that 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 is um, kind of uh, in the local variable and have the uh, same, sorry, have the same, um, uh, sorry, let's just um, rerun this, and, uh, and have the same value, sorry, the same name of the variable as the, as the outside loop. So let me kind of, let me kind of repeat what this is doing here. What if, let's say, uh, if I still run the other example, what if I want the value of a to be accessible from the outside? So if I run this for loop, the, this part runs perfectly, but if I read the value of a, it's not going to work. But what, what, uh, um, what we can do is that we declare the a to be a global variable. Now here's a problem. Here's a problem that if you try to kind of run this, you'd have to. Sorry. Um. Uh, so so this this is um. Let me remove a first. This is actually kind of uh, ch changing. If I oh, sorry, if I clean the workspace, so there's no previous value of a and run this. Oh, sorry, we did. We define x first. Uh, 
right so um so th so this is actually giving uh, an uh, putting an an, an I on on the global scope so it is cr it is cre creating a global variable a inside the form commands that's inside for loop uh, in contrast in contrast um, if I put nothing if I put nothing there uh, or I put local a there oh sorry I uh, need to remove abstract stream sorry, let's change a little bit uh it's not kind of working all right so if i um if i if i do the same uh, process uh, but using a, a local uh, specification so th that means the value of a is only accessible in inside that uh, that kind of folder but but still, this is but still, this is a kind of very awkward kind of um, uh, a very awkward style or stance of uh, of writing code because you have to think about uh, that in some cases the values cannot be put outside. So what if I want a uh, like to say. Uh, Let's write a little bit. So let's write a little bit more complicated. Uh, let's say for J in one to I, and also the uh, for 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 K in some something I to let's just print some value. Print. Um, Let's say that let's say that we only point out i times j times k, right? So, uh, so 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 if you get a, it's probably too much of it, All right? That's yeah, that's probably too much. So if I get a, a some more um complicated uh stuff and what what is gonna what is gonna what is gonna do is that you gotta think you gotta think about the, this process that uh, sorry maybe stop this um let's put it to 30 maybe Uh, if you if you get a kind of a more complicated uh, structure, and you got to think about that that only the the, the, the inside loop can take variable out uh, on the uh, from from the outside loop, but the from the uh, but it's not able to get any uh, values from the from the global variable to inside for loops. Now let's try let's try if we can get the value. Let's try if we can get the value of x. Uh, with some outer for loop um, and, and get that from inside the code. So you could see that the program actually runs a little while because it, this part is just an absolutely no problem. So so the length of this should be 30 because the, it, it's the first time that the this, this inner this very inner for loop runs with no problem. But um, if you try to take the value of x from the outside, it's gonna this is this is gonna fail. The same the same thing happens from from a, a some 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 other kind of problem, and and things get especially bad if they have something some more sorry some more complicated uh, ideas. If I instead of doing this. I get a value of initial value of x and time that, and after something you gotta, and, and after this process you gotta like uh, like change the the value of x, change the value of x outside the for loop and take the values in, and you could sort of imagine that this is a like like a more complicated structure and, and in some cases when you co are constructing sequences or handling 
handling some um, um, complex uh, complex uh, structures. You, uh, this is a very necessary thing. And uh, what what if, what if I want to do this? And 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 now if I run this, this will, this will not work. So to make this working, we can break the idea of the local variable. Like we can break those little boxes and make the every toy uh, flow into the large room. And when you find, when we're going to find those variables, when we're going to find those little um, little toys, you got you gotta think about the entire room instead of one. Four loops as the one little box of the of this room. That, that's that's kind of a that's a kind of a way to think about. So instead of using a so 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 if I if I have some initial value of x, and even even if this one doesn't take if it, even if this one doesn't um, doesn't doesn't uh, take the value from the from the inside. This got this is gonna this is gonna give me some a uh, um uh, like um uh this this is gonna get, gonna get some uh, error. And but if I if you think about it, we could use a global variable to uh, solve this problem. If I throw all of these things into a global scrub and print print these things out, and and this is a this is gonna this is gonna work, but it's very um, but in in my personal opinion, it's quite um, it's quite tedious to uh, do uh, to 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 write to write uh, the globals or all, all the time. So what we can do is to is that we can. Write a function, and uh, the function is uh, do in like like do some interesting things with uh, x. Let's just call the function, and and it takes the initial value of x, and uh, what it, what it does is that we can't use global inside function. So let's do let's do this. And by the way, function all functions all also ends with end, uh, and that's very important. And so so um, after I print out all those those things, I want to return. I can like return the. Uh, or I could, or I could return some sort of, or or I could, sorry, let's just start with a function with no return variable, but but only print those value to the screen. Uh, what this was, what how this will work is that we load function, we load function first, and we we call the function and uh, do interesting things with x. There's no problem with that. And it's working. And the, the the reason that it's working is that within a function, the Julia language recognizes that that uh, there's because a function is already an sorry encapsulated or an isolated uh, global sc scope of variable. There's there's no uh, there's not uh, it's it's not very um, necessary to further develop. Uh, for the sorry, the divide those memory space, so there's no need to add the uh, no. There's no need to sp specify uh, outer uh, to to use the outer scope of the scope of x. So uh, you you could you could do more interesting things about scoping, but I, I think that's I think that's that's enough for 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 basic uses of. Uh, for loops, and you could break a for loop by using break. And the way it works is that uh, if I can get a long for loop line, like uh, if uh, I it's larger than that, you you gotta do this with some kind of a maybe if value and. Uh, 
like if i is larger than 20 break and 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 we could like uh, to to see if this is working sorry for my bad english right so uh, if i run this pro if i run this program it's it's gonna it's gonna end uh for for the first value of i that's larger than 20. you can modify this a little bit to make it print out a value that's uh strictly uh sorry uh, the that that that, that is uh, less or equal to 20. just that's just a special trick for not using while loop because well you could use while loop um like while i is is smaller or less than 20 and this is we are going to and sorry we'd have to get some kind of initial values and uh still you have to i think i think i think it's very necessary to get a global thing right and so that's a bit tedious sorry um so that's so that's actually one of the one of the problem so you still get the same answer but uh i think but i th i just probably just just for like uh, my um experience or like special coding stuff i like this one over this one because first of all you can set a iteration limit if the iteration gets if the iteration gets crazy big like if if, if the uh if this boolean boolean uh, sorry boolean value is very hard to predict like you can you cannot always predict this as a, a reasonable small value or or just the occasionally you get infinitely infinitely big or 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 if the iteration time is not tolerable you can set a certain iteration limit uh with uh with with this instead of that so that's probably that's probably a better practice and, sec and secondly you, there's uh there's no need to uh use um global scope variable here and but if I don't have a global variable here, this is going to work. Will it work? No? It works. Does it? Ah, it's not defined. So, that, so you'd have to put a global uh, scope here. So that's so far for the for the loops and the and and, and most importantly the control flow and the scoping of loops. Uh, and I, I, I hope that's helpful. So um, thanks for watching.